know what you're thinking, but I'll fix it. Don't worry. <laughs> But all right, y'all, yeah, very shameful that this car looks like this right now. <laughs> um, I don't know, I can't, like I said, I don't know, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, it just had like, I saw a swap kit and it was like 2,000 bucks. And I was like, man, if I could sell my engine transmission, basically the full swap out of the Z to buy the swap kit, that's like a no brainer, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's how it started. So, the game plan is to LS swap the 350Z. Why? For no particular reason besides I just like V8s. Um, yeah, this was a, a nice running, a good running car. Oh yeah, I forgot about that too. Um, I was driving this thing a decent amount and the AC went out. And that was just like, I don't know if you've ever drove a 350Z without AC, but it is like, in the middle of summer, it is like unbearable. I don't know what it is about this car, but it like it produces so much firewall heat. It was like insane. It would just burn you out. It is crazy. So yeah, AC went out. It was like 500 bucks is what I was going to need to get that back up and going. So I was like, screw it. It's race car time. So I sold the swap and we're LS swapping it. That's what we're going to do. Full roll cage, all the good stuff. Yeah, so that's the game plan. But it's been sitting for a while. Um, I can't remember the last time I actually did a video of this thing, but... It's, uh, it's in bad shape but i'm going to paint the car like i said i actually picked up uh an hr hood and hr front bumper and all the other stuff but the only thing that really matters is the front bumper and the hood for a hundred bucks that's crazy that was a good deal yeah i sold my de hood for a hundred dollars and went and bought that stuff <laughs> so yeah pretty good deal i think but yeah fix the dent and stuff this in the door it's not perfect but like I said, I'll have to work with it and get that, you know, looking a little bit better. But it's not too bad a shape. It's just like this stug is dirty and ugly right now. Yeah, the swap kit, I can like, the it bolts right to the factory wire, so it's pretty cool. Hmm, looking kind of rough. The interior is the worst part about this, for real. But before I show you all the interior, um, like I said, I'm putting a cage in this thing because I've like parted out a lot of the interior. <laughs> um, it's kind of weird with the 350Z. It's not really a car that I like, but it's a really great car. Like, can't say anything bad about it. They drive great. There's plenty of aftermarket support, and it is super, super easy to work on. This is probably the easiest car I've ever worked on. Like I said, the whole front clip comes out, pull the engine out. It's like... I think I got the engine out of this thing in probably like an hour or something. It was just like, it was out. So, really, really, really easy. I think the worst thing you can do to a 350Z though is put an exhaust on it. So, just doesn't, it's not a bad sounding, it is just a ear itching loud. So, yeah. Junkyard 5.3 with a little low lift truck cam. This thing is going to be fun. Really fun. Yeah. Enough of me rambling. We'll look at the interior. <laughs> Dino, where you going? Dino. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. This car <laughs> was like clean interior, 80,000 miles. It's pretty bad that it's in this shape, but... Oh, man. What can you do? I didn't want to waste the money and, um, you know, fix the AC and put a lot of money in this thing because that's what this car was about. It's supposed to be cheap. But I still have like all the stuff for the center to put back in it. Probably just run some door cards and uh, the carpet. I'm leaving the carpet in and like a full cage in the back. Maybe like some more door bars or something. I don't know. But yeah. I don't know where this freaking mildew is coming from, but as far as I remember, this car didn't get moisture in it. Probably from like the trans tunnel, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that sucks because the seats were decently clean. A little spot right there. Oh well. 
but as you see <laughs> this thing is a mess but if you remember if you've been watching the channel for a while if you remember when I got this thing it was in way worse shape so anyway I've already got this yeah another thing I already have pretty much everything I need to LS swap this except for the swap kit which I've already bought as soon as it gets in this thing is gonna be running this car will be running extremely quick I'm predicting before the end of the year so running driving before the end of the year it should be running within like I don't know four hours of me getting the swap kit because it's going right in here so yeah no issues at all um, everything is ready and waiting except for the uh the swap kit coming in yeah the swap kit comes with engine mount trans mount of course um header and like a shifter relocation kind of thing kind of push the shifter back for the t56 so yeah it's gonna be awesome i can't wait i just love v8s guys i'm sorry as you can tell you know i got the 2f or the two c5s up there yeah i just like v8 ls stuff it's just really easy and it's affordable so you know it is what it is so yeah but anyway i'm gonna get this thing cleaned up real quick and i might put the hood and the front bumper on it and just kind of see what it looks like and uh that'll be the end but yeah i'm gonna spray this thing off real quick get it cleaned up and start getting it ready because hopefully the swap kit will come in like monday would be nice because day sunday but yeah all right <laughs> hold on one second She's not perfect. Don't too much care about the body damage. I'll probably try to knock that out the best I can. I'm just gonna paint it just like I did the FD with like a single stage white paint. So, I'll probably save cleaning up the interior for a, uh, another day. <laughs> but it's not too bad. It'll make for a really fun, um, easy to work on drift car. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to kind of get y'all up to date to where the car is now. Just as soon as I get a chance, I'm going to pull the engine out of the FD. That engine is going in this. And uh, we'll just have to see what's going back in the FD. So we will have to stick around for that. But yeah, it's um, not going to be anything special. Uh oh, that's not bad. But it should be a fun, should be a fun cheap car. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it. And uh, hope you guys will stick around and see this thing become LS powered. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And we'll get it back on the track and everything. That'd be kind of cool. So, like engine, coilovers, angle kit, seats, roll cage. Ah, never ends, I swear. But yeah. That's pretty much it. We'll see you on the next one, guys. <laughs>